Hi friends, welcome back. Miss Walker here and of course Monkey the Mathematician and we are back to do module 14 lesson to compose three dimensional shapes. So repeat after me. Say I can combine three dimensional shapes to make a new shape. Awesome. So you can go ahead and pause and do this page with your homeschool teacher. That would be awesome. And then unpause when you're ready. Welcome back, friends. We are on the Build Understanding page, page 424. It says, Sky wants to combine these shapes to make a new shape. How can you combine these shapes? Okay, so Sky has one of these, one of these, one of these. Hmm, what's a new shape we can make? If you guys have these shapes at home or you can just try to figure it out, I just made like the tower of a castle. And if you wanna draw what I just made, you can draw it with me. So let's try our best to draw what we just did. So I'm gonna draw my cube on the bottom. Awesome. And then on top, I'm going to draw my cylinder. Very good. On top of my cylinder, I'm going to draw my cone. Awesome. There we go. Number two, it says Alex uses cubes to make a rectangular prism that looks like a tens block. Build and describe the combined shape. All right, let's pause. All right, so I was just gathering some materials first. So this kid named Alex, he used cubes to make a rectangular prism. So what I'm going to do is I have these little cubes. I'm going to try to put them together on top of something to be able to show you guys at home. We're going to put some on top of here. So there's one. So far, it still looks like a cube. I need to add some more to get it to look like a rectangular prism. There's another one. Three. Can you count with me? Three, four. Keep going. Count with me. Ready? Five. Let's keep going. Six, seven, eight. Nine, oopsies, nine and 10. Awesome. So friends, if I'm gonna draw that, it just kind of reminds me of this, one of our 10 rods. So let's go ahead and draw that. job and then it kind of is a little bit separated right into the tens so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten awesome so how many cubes yeah we use ten Okay. Hmm, time to turn and talk. So, monkey, how can you combine three dimensional shapes to make a large cylinder? Yes, monkey said he could stack several cylinders end to end. Can you show us, monkey? Oh, he wants to show you guys. He's building it over here. Okay, be careful, careful picking that up, monkey. Don't want you to drop it. Because I know you worked hard on that. Oh, here it is. 
Ooh, monkey. <laughs> See what he did, you guys? He put together three cylinders to make a large cylinder. Awesome. All right, my friends, let's move on to the next page. Oh, Miss Walker forgot to clear her drawings. There we go. We are on step it out. So it says Ted has three dimensional shapes. How can he make combined shapes? Use the shapes. Make this combined shape. So if you put two of these together, oops, a daisy, you can have a rectangular prism. And then if you put, they're saying if you were just copying them, if you put a cone and a cylinder, you can make this. It kind of looks like a tower on a castle, right? And then he said, there's other things you can do. So you can circle the other combined shapes you can make. So we're gonna circle it if it's a combined shape. So this first one looks like they put together two rectangular prisms. So that's a combined shape. This next one is just this by itself. Is that a combined shape? No, because combined means you put more than one thing together, right? And then your next one is this. Is this a combined shape? Yes, that's right, circle it. Okay, friends, it's time for to check, for check understanding. So it says, Mona combines these shapes. Circle a combined shape she can make. So look at your combined shapes. So Mona has these two shapes and she puts them together. We're gonna circle only the things that she can make from these two. So can she make these? No, if you said no, that's not, you're right. She can't make these. Can she make something like this? Yeah, totally, definitely. Can she make this? No, because she doesn't have a cube. She would need a cube. She can't make that. Can she make this? That looks like four cubes. No, she only has these two rectangular prisms. So it's just that one, correct? All right, friends, it's time for you to move on to on your own. You did such a great job today working on three-dimensional shapes. Keep up the great work. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, friends. Bye.